Dear Misty, is it possible to be fully gay and attracted to femininity? Why is the gay community so repulsed by femininity? Why is it that a lot of lesbians like manly men, women, sorry, confused, but nearly all gay men do not like feminine men? Is it because of femininity being seen as such a bad thing in our society? Um, there's lots of things and or reasons I'm going to assume. I generally think that opposites do attract. Growing up in our society, we are to, I think people think they're looking for the yin and the yang, generally speaking. Big strong men want little feminine women. Big strong women want little feminine men. Big strong women want little feminine women. Vice versa, lipstick dykes, you know, whatever. Um, I have seen lipstick lipstick and I have seen dyke dyke, but... I definitely see more lipstick butch girls. Or, but I've seen a lot more femme butch girls, couples. As far as the gay community, I definitely know a lot of fully gay men that love skinny little super gay boys. They just love it. The more feminine, the better. I also know some adult men that just like femmer guys. I think it all depends on how you perceive yourself. If you want desperately to be a big macho man, but you know that you're not, dating effeminate guys are going to make you suddenly more macho. So some guys are naturally drawn to more feminine guys because they don't want to be the feminine one in the relationship. But you're right, stereotypically, gay men worship masculinity. I think, and this is a study that was done in the 70s. I was doing a paper in college, I was doing a little paper on homosexuality in the Bible and what was right and what was wrong. And one of the studies I was, you know, proving when they were trying to electroshock therapy gay people into being gay, one of the things that said peop that caused people to be gay was masturbation. So it was a big thing in the 70s saying, no masturbation, nobody can masturbate, it's not allowed. Because they thought that the more you touched yourself, the more you loved your sex organ, the more you'd want to touch and love someone else's sex organ. Which kind of makes sense because I know that a lot of straight guys, no matter how much of straight they are, if they could suck their own dick, they would. But why wouldn't they suck somebody else's? So, if you love touching your own dick and masturbating and playing with yourself, does that make you gay? No. I don't think so. But that's a theory. So if that theory were to be true, it's safe to say that homosexual men are narcissistic, meaning they're attracted to their reflection. And I kind of think this is true because most often I see guys dating themselves. Chubs with chubs, twinks with twinks, leathermen with leathermen, tattooed boys with tattooed boys. And I think, and I know this to be a fact, that in a gay relationship, you're attracted to subconsciously what you want to be. Like if you always wanted to be a big, strong, muscly man subconsciously, you're going to be very attracted to big, strong, muscly men. If you can't grow a tee but you desperately wish you could, you're going to want to date guys with goatees because you're still trying to... You know, like girls would date their fathers, guys are trying to date their hotter selves. But, yes, absolutely, I think that if a man is confident enough, strong enough, and secure enough, he could date anybody, masculine or feminine. But, I know a lot of people have wrote me secret letters on Facebook and things like confessing that, sending, I see their pictures, they're like strippers and dancers and, you know, gorgeous modely looking guys tell me that they're in love with chunky fat bears but they're afraid to tell anybody because they're embarrassed and my theory is why the fuck are you embarrassed love who you want to love if you want to be in love with a tranny if you want to be in love with a bear if you want to be in love with a chub if you want to be in love whatever chase your dream it's your dream they don't have to live your life 
You do. You don't need this skinny little perfect partner if what makes you most comfortable is to cuddle up next to someone that makes you feel safe and warm or cuddly or whatever. I don't know what chubby chasers like, but if you're a chubby chaser, be a chubby chaser. Who the fuck cares what your friends think? Yeah, they might make fun of your boyfriend until they realize, wow, he's a really cool guy. How many times have we saw somebody that became a friend of ours or whatever and we ruled them out because, oh, he's too fat or, oh, whatever. But then the more you learned about him and got to know him, you're like, God, he is such a cool person. And a lot of people come to me and like, Misty, I don't understand how you're single because you're such a great person. I'm like, oh, I got it. Fat, femme, bottom. Three strikes, I'm out. <laughs> the gays don't want it. You know, but if you can look past that shell... There's a lot of beautiful people out there, and some of them are feminine. Some of them are fat. Some of them are bottoms. So yes, I do think it's absolutely possible, and it is true, I do know some, that are openly, actively attracted to femme guys. But no, is it because of femininity being such a bad thing in society? I don't think so, not at all. Um, I just think it's them wanting to be super masculine. And I think I think it's a fear of me being around feminine people will make me more feminine. For example, if I go to Ramrod, which is a leather bar here, which I've been many times, I've got lots of friends there and I've done many events there. If I go into the Ramrod, it kills me when I see this big, strong, muscly man, like Gaston. It's a pity and a sin. Anyways, Gaston. I've seen big, muscly men in the ramrod come up to me and they see me walking in all fierce and fabulous and they're like, oh my god, girl, 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 and I just instantly bring out the queen in them, the inner queen in all homosexuals. You might suppress it, you might hide it, but there's a little queen in everyone. And um, I think that's what they're afraid of, like, oh my god, I'm going to flame if I'm with you. And they're so afraid of being feminine. And I don't know why. Because they're stupid. But yes, darling, I don't know, I couldn't tell from reading your post, if you were feminine or attracted to feminines. But it's definitely not a bad thing to be attracted to feminines. Loving you is easy.